get over it and get a load of this. This is my little model railway, what do you think? Excellent, what more can I say? Absolute uh, replica of the Eurostar. It also works in a very similar way, doesn't it? Yeah, we've got 240 volts coming in from the mains yeah. as AC, with a transformer where it's transformed down to 15 volts AC. And then this box of tricks here is our converter, where the AC is converted into 12 volts DC for the motors on the model up train. Fantastic stuff, so it's working exactly the same way as the Eurostar, except that starts off with three different voltages, which are then converted, ending up with AC that works the motor in the train. This is the inside of a transformer. It can change the voltage up or down, depending on what the motor needs. The motor in this model train needs only 12 volts DC compared with 240 volts AC provided by the mains. Inside a transformer there are two tightly wound coils of wire wrapped around a soft iron core. The right hand coil has more turns of wire than the left hand coil. Electricity enters the transformer from the right with 240 volts AC across the coil. It emerges from the left at 12 volts AC across the coil. It's stepped down from 240 volts AC to 12 volts AC. That's because there are 20 times fewer turns of wire in the left coil than the right. So it's stepped down 20 times. The Eurostar also has lots of transformers and converters, which ensure that its motors always get the right supply of alternating current, whichever country it's in. Well, Jason, we come out into the power car. Excellent stuff. At the front, we've got the driver's cab. Oh, it's like conquering everywhere. Isn't it? Oh, I'm in. Come on, Jason, come on into the Eurostar cab. Oh, great. Can I sit in the driver's seat? Yeah, help yourself. All right. How about the throttle? Where's that? Oh, this is our knob here. Okay. Believe it. Do you want to have a play? Yeah, absolutely. How do I put the power on? Push it forward and we go faster. Brilliant. And what about braking? Well, if you put it back the other way, right, we're going to right. electric braking. Oh, stunning Slowing stuff. Down. What about the different le electrical systems that we encounter? How does the uh, the driver uh, switch between those? Well, we're doing. Say we're going from London to Paris. Yeah. The driver would use this knob. Okay, so we're going to put it onto the the BR system, the 750 volt DC, and the air tunnel. Put it onto the ET mode, the 25,000 volt AC mode. And then we're going into Paris. We're coming on the high speed French line, 25,000 AC. And That's just to make it really complicated, if I wanted to go to Belgium, what would I do then? S same knob. Yeah, all the way around. <laughs> all the way around, and we're be in the Belgium system. The 25,000 volt AC pantograph will go down. We yeah. have another one going up, the 3,000 volt DC. God, it's complicated, isn't it? But I tell you what, not half as complicated as the, the stuff back there that I believe converts between these systems. Can we have a look? Yeah, come Great. on out and I'll show you. Brilliant. Thanks, Joe. Come on, Jason. It takes all this electrical equipment, which includes transformers, just to ensure that the various AC and DC power supplies from different countries can be changed to 1400 volts AC to drive the motors.